Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Squat day. I got heavy squats. I'm gonna work up to a single drop down three. Welcome to the video. Silent Mike, Silent Avi. We're gonna smash weights. She's got a deload week. I'm gonna go heavy, uh, then back and biceps. We got the A e Bamos playlist going on. Three day holiday weekend. I'm feeling good. Hip hurts a little bit. We're jamming, man. Let's go. I'm the worst Instagrammer to ever live. I'm so damn skinny, I'm hidden behind this pole. I disappeared. Can't even see me. The bar's lifting itself. That's crazy. How's the single going? You just rubbing it in, bro, because I'm 34 and ain't got a wife? Yeah. That's the majority of the Q&A today. <laughs> I swear. Bunch. Asking for a friend. People want to know. What the hell do you want to know, man? Are I'm getting single? That I'm getting old and I'm lonely? That I adopt, I'm trying to adopt a dog for the last two years and I can't even get one of them? Can't even pay for love. They just want to see a little Mikey running around. Dude, can That's you imagine? I got, I got a little nephew Taika. That's plenty, bro. That's plenty. Seagull feels good. So we're only back, uh, back squatting two weeks, right? It's like the second low bar day. Yeah, so we're low barring. You know what I do hate? Everyone's semantics about high bar and low bar. Maybe we'll get Coach Avi's opinion, but like, cause stereotypically when you're talking about like, Ripto, who, who made the five by five very popular and the low bar very popular, talking about sitting back and into your hips and like one, two, three, everyone's squat looks like this. Yeah, we got low bar and high bar. And then you compare it to a weightlifter who has a lot more knee flexion, their knees heading forward, they're way more upright in their squat and the bar's way higher. To me, what your lower body does in a squat and what your upper body does in a squat are totally different. And then two, like who cares about the semantics of categorizing it? Like, I don't know, like you play basketball, you play basketball. It's not like, oh, He's a this guy, like, no, like you have certain skills or whatever, but I place the bar somewhere and then what my lower body does is to be most efficient it can. I can put the bar really high and have a hip dominant squat. I can put the bar really low and have a quad dominant squat. Um, that's what I think I move the most amount of weight with, so that's what I do. The bar's a little bit lower on my rear delts. Someone's asked me about like mid bar. I'm like, even if I say, yeah, I'm a mid bar squatter, what does that mean? Who fucking cares? Is it comfortable, repeatable, and do you lift the most amount of weight efficiently that way? So right now, bar's real low. I got a little bit of a quad dominant squat. Historically, my biggest squat's about 590, and I had the bar very low, and it was in heels and a little bit more hip dominant. That's just how, how she rolls, but um, yeah. Still losing weight, still getting leaner, and we're gonna see where this takes us. I hate high bar. Uh, it's so stressful and I've been doing it for the past two blocks and it's really difficult because I feel my hamstrings and glutes wanting to activate and engage in the squat. I mean it is more dominant, quad dominant for me. So at the top I feel like I'm just muscling it up with my quads and my hamstrings and glutes are like I want to use them but I can't engage them. But I had a friend who gave me some tips on it because they said like high bar as a variation helped him in his with his low bar so I was like okay I'll learn from him and basically um, now I place the bar even though it's still high it's still high on my back but I place it on the thicker part of my trap versus like on my trap a little more mid bar so that it's more comfortable um, try to squeeze my lats together or my rear delt keeping my elbows forward to engage my back because I also don't know what to do with my elbows for high bar, I feel like there's much more movement than with low bar. And it's also teaching me how to keep my pressure evenly distributed on my feet throughout the movement. I hated high bar, but now I'm trying to learn from it instead of cry about it and try to like, okay, I could get something from this and get stronger somehow. I think I still need to give myself some time with high bar to see how it's like translating over to my um, low bar. It would probably be person to person. Maybe someone needs work with their quads, building their quads, and high bar allows them to be more quad dominant instead of like hips, then I would do that. I pulled 705. I hadn't touched over 585, which is like 80% for six months. And that was just what, based on training off the I didn't have like a real plan. I had a very loose plan in my head. So how did you do it? If 585 is RP7, and then three months from now I move it at a five, you don't think I got stronger? Like my top end strength's gonna go up. You don't have to, you don't 
No one handles tens to get stronger. All you need is the full muscle recruitment. You need to get better at the lift, the skill of the lift. You need to build more muscle when you can. And then you need to recruit more muscles when you can. And so like you can do that through hypertrophy stuff, getting close to tens. You can do it through strength stuff, getting through tens. Or you can take sub-maximal weights and move them really fucking fast. You still recruit the same shit. So what does your volume look like at 585? Then, uh, I just tapered it down like normal. So like maybe, maybe five sets of three, all the way down to like one set of one. And then I would raise or lower the second deadlift day, raise or lower the squat day. Just kind of volume it all the way down. And then I just handled heavy singles in all three, all four of my days. Took six days off, pulled like 400, and then fucking. Took six days off? I probably deadlift like 400 the week of. Taking how much time off is another like controversial thing, but it depends on how you train. Like some cats will take two weeks off, but that's because they're overall like. One, the stimulus is higher because they're squatting a thousand pounds, so the systemic fatigue is just higher. Regardless if you're that strong, it is just more shit. We're still all flesh. And then two, like if you handle a shit ton of volume for a very long time, then yeah, you need to, you'll go out of shape fast, right? If, like you, you handle a good amount of volume and a good amount of frequency. If you just take six days off, you're gonna get out of shape and won't be able to represent your one rep max. So you gotta keep that that uh, bottom line. You keep your bottom line in a taper. That's all. But if your bottom line's low. Six days is a lot for me. Like I'd yeah. be another day for skill retention, but even then probably oh, yeah. just like going well, light. Well, it was deadlift only. You know what I mean? So the skill retention is all different, right? Deadlift only, plus I'm old as shit. Plus ladies in general and the smaller folks uh, can often like, handle more shit. They recover faster, but you can push them harder too. It's like an engine with like an intercooler on it. There for my car heads. Like she's a turbocharged, but she's got an intercooler. I don't have a turbocharge, but I don't need an intercooler. Rev harder, recover harder. You said I'm cooler? What? You said I'm cooler. No, inter. Okay, cool, awesome, thank you. That's all I needed to hear. By approximately how much percent do you think your strength decreased? If you guys refer to our first fat loss video, I kind of talked about how strength wasn't like a number in my mind, um, and I go into some detail on why, but here's why. You get weak when you diet. One, you're losing leverages. You know, benching, there's just more cushion, there's more cushion, there's more cushion. Squatting, there's more cushion. Um, it obviously depends on how much you're losing. You know, losing 60 pounds, I'm now down like 65 pounds. There's a lot of gut that's gone. So I have less stuff to balance and brace against. And although fat isn't functional, it doesn't technically move the weight, the levers do help, the rebound does help. Two, and maybe even bigger, is that you're gotta eat less calories, right? We're gonna be in a deficit. So less calories than my body needs to maintain its body weight. And so my energy in general, your energy in general, will go down. So the amount of effort we can put into life, into lifting, goes down when you're in a calorie deficit and when you're dieting. So there's a lot of little factors there. Some people end up deadlifting more, generally, not always. You have to cut carbs eventually, right? Doesn't mean you have to go zero carb, but you're eating less carbs because that's one of the main macronutrient sources. Fat's the other one we tend to cut. Protein we tend to keep around the same. And carbs hold water, carbohydrate, within our muscles. And so you have less water, less energy, less cushion again in your body. So there's a lot of factors. With me, we talked a little bit about the mental health stuff and why I just wasn't training. My strength has dropped from my best ever, but that's when I was training six days a week like a professional athlete, you know, and I was 215 pounds, not when I was 250 and kind of chunky. Can't really say a percent. It's gonna depend on the person, your training age, how fast you cut. But my best suggestion is cut, get to a healthy body weight or what you like, and then you can maintain and you'll be able to build that strength back, maybe not to exactly where you were, but pretty, uh, pretty soon. So I got a couple more weeks, I'm probably gonna cut and figure it out. And then I'll maintain and, and watch my numbers start to move up. They're already moving pretty good. So you need a squat of 475, uh, I'm gonna pull 500 for three. And I know those aren't my top numbers, but we're gonna smash them. So once I get a little bit more food in my system, start eating some maintenance, you guys will see the strength gets right back to where it was. started was it like difficult to start how that how that whole process go yeah i think it's really hard to start one we were just opening the gym so i was coming over this mental health hurdle where i felt like i'm tied down in a straight jacket it's kind of like a fear of mine not a fear but like i don't know what it is where like uh, spider-man like zips your ass up and then he zips your ass to the ground too like that kind of feeling like claustrophobia or something like panic kicks in i felt like that like mentally i felt like that so then physically i felt like that and then we opened the gym i have a ton of empathy for people going through it mentally physically 
emotionally, and maybe I should give myself a little more compassion, but there's also times for others and myself where I just say like, man, show up, shut the fuck up, you know? And so at that point, it was time to show up and shut the fuck up. And so we had to remodel this whole thing. You know, we're low on employees. I hadn't met Seabass yet, I was low on help, I was low on friends. So I'm running, you know, getting here about 5.30 in the morning, not leaving here till two, three, four, five, six in the evening, plus everything in between. Not only say I was exhausted, the mental health was not there. The physical shape was not there, I was out of shape. And there was a couple like mini rebounds I tried to get back into lifting, I couldn't. So the biggest thing, and I talked about in the other videos, the biggest thing you can do is set yourself up for success with preparation and setting things that are attainable. So rather than, all right, man, I haven't trained in two years, let's hop on uh, Smolov Jr. and hit six days a week bench. Like that's just not realistic. So yeah, in the beginning, I just started three days lifting only. I lift for an hour and that's it, no cardio. I didn't worry about my food, or I started like ordering out, but only ordering like healthy food out, right? No more fried food. Let's get a veggie in a day. Like all these baby steps, do that for a month or two, and then next baby step. Long story short, it was very difficult, um, but that's how it has to go. All right, I'm gonna drink uh, a gallon of water. Okay, I'm gonna get one veggie in a day. And then at this point, you know, fast forward a year and a half, I'm getting two veggies in a day, two fruits a day, and chugging water all day training four times a week, cardio five times a week, right? But I didn't just go from nothing to something. I went training twice a week, then three times, then four times. And then even for a second there, I pushed it to five and I could feel myself like, all right, dude, this is probably not it. Mentally and physically, let's not push it. Cause work's still going crazy. I have less hours in the gym, but just as many am I working on the gym. Yeah, it's hard. I think it's hard for anyone. I'm just as human as you, man. Just cause, I, just cause the paycheck comes in from the fitness industry because I'm a fitness professional, doesn't mean it's easy for me. I like helping you. I like communicating with you. I like educating, I like entertaining. But I, I don't wake up every day stoked to go do tricep pushdowns and get a pump. I don't get stoked every day to rip my shirt off and pose in the mirror. I don't get stoked for a deadlift PR. I don't get stoked to eat a salad a day. Those things don't excite me, man. I'm, I'm really not about that life. What I am about is helping you share my journey, creation, building community, building culture. And so this, this allows me to build that culture. This is just the vessel. The barbell's the vessel. Fitness is the vessel. YouTube's the vessel. Seabass's magic hands are the vessel. But trust me, it's just as hard as me for me as it is y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, quick accessories. I'm gonna bang this thing out. Hopefully that answers some of your questions. Again, on Instagram, Sound Mike with two Ks. Join our Discord, link it below if you wanna communicate. If you have any questions on fat loss, fitness, any way I can help you, let me know. I'm we over me, man. Be a part of something bigger than yourself. New videos every single Monday and Thursday. We'll catch you in the next one. I'm out.